Now look, my intentions of making this video isn't to make money, isn't to sell you a course. It's just to help some of you out and make the video that I wish I saw three, four years ago when I was completely new to YouTube. And just as a point of reference, uh, I've grown a new channel of mine called Jared West from zero to 50,000 subscribers with 18 videos in about five or six months. I'm gonna be going over exactly how I did it, how you can do it yourself and everything I've learned along the way of my five years of doing YouTube. So first of all, before creating your channel, I always recommend to just stick to one niche. Now look, I explain this concept really poorly here, but in short, you're gonna to wanna to stick to the same niche because if a viewer watches one of your videos and you have a load of other videos related to that same niche, then YouTube are a lot more likely to promote those other videos alongside that video that they just watched. Now when creating a channel, the only thing you're gonna to wanna to focus on is your videos. I know loads of people get stuck up on like, oh, what name should I use? Uh, what profile picture, what banner? I'm gonna be completely completely honest, that stuff does not matter at all. You need a short name that's catchy, a profile picture that doesn't look like it was made on pain and honestly, you're good to go. Nobody checks banners anyway. So if you're stuck on that right now, please just get that out of the way. You can always change it later. So now touching on videos, what does YouTube look for when they wanna promote one of your videos? So YouTube looks at three things. First one, click through rate. Second one, average view duration. And then the third one, retention. So now your click through rate is basically just how likely people are to click on your video. And that is gonna be affected by your title and your thumbnail. And later in this video, I'm gonna be getting into how you can increase that and therefore increase your views. And then getting back to retention and average view duration, this all comes down to your video, how good your hook at the start is, how engaged your viewers are throughout the video. And I'm gonna be giving you a ton of tips on how you can engage your viewers. And just as a point of reference, what you should be getting for all three of these, if you want a viral video, your click-through rate should be around about 10%. Your average view duration should be around about six minutes, but that can depend on how long your video is. And then your attention should always be over 50%. So look, now we're gonna be moving on to how do you increase your click-through rate for your title and your thumbnails. Now look, I'm just gonna give you a bit of an insight on what I do, but personally, before I even create the video, before I even think of what I'm gonna be doing, I'm thinking of what is the best title and thumbnail I can make and then I will evolve my video around that. So instead of creating my whole video and then thinking, oh, you know, what, what title should I use? Oh, what thumbnail should I use? I'm thinking of how can I get a really, really good title and a thumbnail that loads of people are gonna wanna click on and how can I make a video best suited to that title and thumbnail? Just as a general rule of thumb with your titles, you're gonna wanna keep them under 50 characters and you're gonna wanna convey emotion and a message in a short amount of words as possible. As an example, this title right here is better than this title here. The exact same thing should go for the thumbnail. It should convey emotion. It should be very clear, simple what's happening. Don't put a bunch of text everywhere with a bunch of arrows pointing to things unless it's essential. And try to include contrast when possible as it will make your thumbnail stand out and it will make the important parts of your thumbnail stand out from the non-important parts. An example of this is I could guarantee you if in the thumbnail of this video, I wore a white shirt instead of a black jumper, from a distance, it would have looked a lot more confusing. I mean, it's just little things like this that all add up and all build to the importance of a good thumbnail. If you're ever stuck and looking for some inspiration for thumbnails and titles, first of all, I'd recommend going in your niche and looking at the people who are doing the best. And then secondly, I think people such as Mr. Beast have a really good eye for thumbnails and basically each one of his thumbnails have been made in such a way that they convey the right amount of emotion, they match the title. Always think how would Mr. Beast do it or how would the person in my niche do it themselves? So now when creating videos, I would honestly just be as authentic as you possibly can. If there's one thing that I've learned throughout these years is that to build a long-term sustainable fan base that will support you financially throughout a sustained period of time, you need to be authentic with them. And if you don't have anything good to say, then don't say it. Now, as I previously mentioned in this video, retention and average view duration are absolutely essential for making your video hit the algorithm and get promoted. So here's my best tips to try and increase that and getting over 50% retention in all your videos. So look, I'm going to be focusing on three main things. First of all, the hook. Second of all, the incentive to watch until the end. And then third of all, the pacing and timing throughout the video. 
Now, when creating a video, you want your viewer to be completely immersed in it and to not realize their surroundings and not reflect on why they're watching the video. This is where the pacing and timing of your video comes in. So I personally believe that you should probably watch other YouTubers, see what they do, see how they pace their wording, and also see their kind of pitch and tone of voice to make sure that they're not coming across as monotonous. Although saying this, I do believe a lot of this just simply comes down to first-hand experience and having that time in front of a camera and critiquing yourself, getting better at your body language, the way you're speaking, how often you're looking at the camera. It's something that I'm not perfect at and I would recommend that you try and doing it if you're doing face cam in your videos. Now getting onto the hook, the worst thing somebody can do when watching your video is click off at the start. So that is why your hook is the most important thing about creating a video. Now what I find does best is in the first 20 to 30 seconds of your video, you're gonna wanna update the user with everything that is happening in this video. And the faster and more smooth you can make that transition into the actual meat of the video, the less people that are gonna click off. And then the final tip to get better average view duration and retention is to add an incentive to watch until the end. For example, on this video, the incentive to watch until the end is to see who won the money. And my best advice for this is to try and replicate it in such a way that is unique and personalized to you. And then finally, to wrap retention and average view duration all together, the most important part of anything is to have a new, engaging, original idea. Now, after you've made your first few videos, what I would recommend doing is looking at the metrics and the analytics of them. Now, click-through rate is quite hard to judge because it always varies up and down depending on how many people YouTube serve your video to. But the thing you are gonna wanna be focusing on is the average view duration and the retention percentage below it. Now, as I previously mentioned, you should be aiming for 50% retention on all of your videos. Now, this number is gonna be hard to get at first, but after time, after experience, It should be a number you should be regularly hitting with videos around 10 to 15 minutes long. After that, you should be looking at the graph and seeing where people click off and where people are engaged and staying for a long time. And from there, you can see what things to change in your future videos. I'm gonna take a few examples from my channel. For example, this video had a really, really weak hook, but the actual content in the video was really engaging and a lot of people stayed throughout it. Contrastingly, I'm gonna be taking this video where you can see the hook was really, really good, but the video throughout time just got boring to people and there was no incentive to watch until the end therefore a lot of people clicked off and from these two videos I'm gonna want to combine the two successful elements and blend them together and there you've got you've got a video that has a good hook and a good engagement throughout it and I can almost guarantee you that third video will have exponentially more views than the first and second one Now, I did touch on this previously when I'm talking about the click-through rate drop, but as YouTube promotes your video to more and more people, your average view duration and your click-through rate will drop. And the goal is to try and make these metrics stay as still as they possibly can. This means making your video understandable to somebody who has never seen your channel before. So any ongoing sagas that you have on a video series, for example, should be summarized in the first 30 seconds. Otherwise, it will leave people confused and they're most likely gonna be clicking off. So with that advice, you hopefully should have your thumbnails, titles, and your content down. Now, how do you get YouTube to actually push your video? Because the truth of the matter is, you could have a viral video waiting to happen, but if it gets served to the wrong initial audience, YouTube is never gonna pick up that video, and that video will never see the light of day. So now this is where growth strategies come into play and I'm just gonna be going over my personal favorite one to use and the one that I have seen being used with the greatest amount of success. And that is simply starting out with trend targeting or search term targeting and then transitioning into viral video attempts. Now, okay, this may not make as much sense right now as it should do. So let me explain what I mean with my own channel. When starting, I decided to target key search terms such as how to grow on Instagram and best Instagram niches. The only ways my videos were getting seen were through search, so I had to dominate search. So I did exactly that and catering all of my videos towards search terms and trying to build a core audience of a people searching for information or advice in that specific niche. I kept doing this until I built a core audience of around about 10,000 subscribers and then sprinkling in viral video attempts, videos that anybody could pick up and enjoy related to your niche. Now it's highly unlikely any of your first viral video attempts will really pop and blow up, but as soon as you get that one that goes off, 
that's when your channel growth is going to skyrocket and you're going to be getting to 100,000, 1 million subscribers in under a year. And another good example of this being used is the YouTuber Dream. You can see here he was jumping on a trend with the whole PewDiePie Minecraft series seed. After gaining his initial audience, he then starts to go into core audience content sprinkled in with viral video attempts. He gets a series that does absolutely crazy for him and now he's getting 20 million views a video. So hopefully with all of these things put into practice, you should start succeeding. And now just before we finish, I'm gonna give you some advice for when you are succeeding, what to do. So my first advice for when you're succeeding is don't focus on numbers and statistics. Trust me, I know how tempting it is to go on your YouTube real time, look at your numbers, look at your video performance. Is it one out of 10? Is it two out of 10? You know, is it 10 out of 10? I don't know, but that stuff at the end of the day is going to make you miserable. It's never gonna be enough, and I hope from the success that you've already had, you can realize that what was crazy to you six months ago is probably disappointing to you now. So if you believe fame, views, subscribers, money is really ever gonna feed you that fulfillment, I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but is probably not, and you're always gonna be left wanting more. So my best advice is to just simply make videos that you're passionate about, make videos that you truly believe are changing the world and that are gonna be influencing future generations to live out their best lives. Because I can tell you firsthand that when you feel like you're actually impacting the world and you're doing good for humanity, that is truly fulfilling. Good luck. Like and subscribe. Actually don't because uh, this is not a YouTube advice channel. So this is kind of my second channel. So if you don't know me, you don't know my Jared West channel, then don't subscribe. But if you do then, and, and you know, and you care about me, then subscribe. Bye then.